this morning at St. Helen's Slaughterhouse. We're bearing witness to these cows who are, who are about to go inside. The driver has voluntarily let us bear witness. So even though we hate what's happening here and we Just ignore any messages. hate what is these people do for a living, we always give them thanks for letting us bear witness. Otherwise, we can't get this information out to consumers. Hello, beautiful soul. These gentle cows are, are no different than the dog companions you have at home. They're intelligent, they're curious, they have emotions. They definitely don't want to be here and they know they're in a bad place. Cows are known for smelling up to five miles away and the, the scent coming from this horrible kill plant is overwhelming. So they know that they're in a bad place. We just talk yeah. gently to them. Yeah, yeah. All we can do for them at this time. Right, Angel? Yeah. And be their voice. Because they do have a voice, but they're not heard. And now with the government putting through Bill 156, they're going to be pushed farther into the shadows. But we're not, we won't let this happen. We'll always be here for them. And we'll always make them seen and heard. We urge you to come here and bring everyone you know to come and look into their eyes and tell them that that meal that you've forgotten, that five minute meal that you've long forgotten was worth a lifetime of suffering for them. Beautiful, beautiful soul.
truck is backing in now. At this slaughterhouse, they don't have a holding pen, so the animals are killed almost immediately. Please send them your love and prayers. Hi, this is, this, this is Pia and Trez, and this is her first time here today. Can you just describe to us what you just witnessed? It's okay, take your time. They're so sweet. You can just tell they're so sweet. And Half of them are pets, they're all covered in their own shit. It's just disgusting. I didn't even know that this happened so people could eat a burger. It's, I don't know. It's, they deserve better than any, any living creature deserves better than this. I don't even know what to say. I'm actually speechless because I've been a vegan for almost 10 years and this is the first time I've seen the cow. Oh, here's another one. Oh. There's so many. Oh. This is really, really sad. I don't know what to say. They're covered. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm very emotional. Wait. When you see it, when you see it, the reality is uh, a, a million times worse than anything you can see uh, just online or whatever. It's really uh, snow. I can smell the blood from when we walk from the parking lot around, like down the block, you can smell it. It's been terrible. Did you know cows can smell from five miles away? Yes. So they're absolutely yes. know they're in a bad place I know. here. know, awful to torture animals that way. Into their death? For something we don't even need. It's crazy. Yeah. What, what would you say to people to encourage them to come down here and to bear witness to this? And This is the, the, this is the greatest injustice in the world no other injustice will ever ever be fixed until you fix this this is the root of the problem because you cannot be for justice uh, human rights if you are going to go home and eat violence for dinner it's just there's a, too much of a discrepancy there it doesn't the energy doesn't match up so if you really want to be a peaceful person you have to start with what you put in, the energy you put into your own body absolutely and, uh, and until then, uh, every other human's rights, women's rights, children, all of it is, is just a waste of time until you deal with this. That's it. I, I agree 100%. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you, Tris. Thank you, Pia.